railway in the sky or a boat. So inside here, or a boat. Let's get around the world's highest railway. Sit back and enjoy the journey. Get ready for a trip of a lifetime. You're about, you be, you're about to travel on the world's newest wonder, Qinghai Saizhong Railway. We are leaving Qinghai Station. In no time at all, we arrive safely in Lhasa, Tibet, Saizhong. The scenery along the way is some of the widest in all of China. Keep your eyes open as we race through, race through, through your alo. This beautiful land at speeds of up to 120 kilometers an hour. hour yeah. You may see a rare Tibetan antelope from your window. Before we begin our journey, let's learn about this remarkable Uchaseke Wewe. It's truly one of the greatest engineering wonders of, of the 21st century when it was completed, Beidonggui, Bigavivi. On July 1st, 2006, the Tibet Railway get nine world records, including world's highest railway at 5,072 meters above sea level and the world's highest tunnel at 4,905 meters and the longest tunnel ever built on permafrost. Permafrost, yeah, the Bing Chan, Chan, Yin, Keep Bing, or the Bing Chan, the permafrost. Permafrost. So if, if, and if that's not enough, the Tibet railway also has the world's longest railway bridge built over permafrost. We travel as we travel high into the Himalayas. Himalayas are Himalayas. The air gets thinner and thinner. Soon there will be only 50 to 60% of oxygen. Most of us are used to breathing, but don't be afraid. Each railway car has two separate oxygen systems. One system spreads oxygen throughout the train at all times. In addition, each passenger has access to a personal oxygen mask, just like those used in high attitude jacks. High attitude, yeah, go low attitude, go die. High attitude, get jacks. Okay. Here are a few more things to think about as train leaves the station. The designers overcame three major challenges. Three major challenges. When building TGU and INGO, when building this great railway, first, the high attitude made construction difficult due to because of with lack of oxygen. Second, much of the railway runs across permafrost, a type of ground that is constantly changing as the weather warms and cools. It is like, it's like building something on a sponge, not an easy task. Finally, the railway goes through some of the most sensitive ecology, sensitive ecology in China, and great care was necessary, necessary, to ensure the smallest possible effect on nature. Ensure the smallest possible effect on nature. Effect is effect is all three challenges were met, Beidonggui, making a voyage, 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 possible. All aboard the train to Tibet is leaving in 15 minutes. English is learning the world, learning different things. Don't only learn how to read books. This kind of thing is given to me. You can write a book today. I have learned a very important engineering wonder. 寫一段話俾安瑞聽，學瑞點？呢度捐低，另外讀兩段俾我，希望今日會幫到你，加油！